Well, it's Saturday, and as you know, I have no garage to work in at the moment, so I'm here at the shop. And uh, I've also got two big motherfucking Sundown 12s sitting there. Unfortunately, though, I've got two 15 inch holes. So I'm going to take the back off and make two spaces out of some inch thick MDF. Um, so, yeah, all right, we'll pull it apart. Um, shouldn't be too hard. I've got some, uh, what have I got? Um, got some thread inserts to put into the wood. Got me some bolts. This is our woodwork area at work. Table saw. Um, there's a router in the table there as well. Um, just got the hand router, which I'll probably use today with the Jasper. Um, bunch of other routers and shit there as well. So, templates and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, and then a ducting extraction fan thing in there. And I just kind of plug into random tools. Um, but yeah, all right, so I gotta make two outside rings. So there's my two big fat spacer rings. Just put a tiniest little round over on the inside lip of them, just so they don't scratch the paint on the subs. But I don't want them slopping around in there because they're that heavy and pain in the ass to mount and stuff. I want them nice and tight. So. That's inch thick um, MDF, and there's my rings. So easy holes are the, the sub ones. The actual, well, the new, the mounting holes that were the 15. They're going to be a bit of a pain because I don't have the decimals anymore. <clears throat> I don't have any other 15s either. They're the same width, so I'm going to have to work that out. And don't be fooled. This took nearly an hour to make the two of those. Um, so they're both cut out now, both sanded, and I have drilled um, 32 holes total so uh, these have been spaced down to how big they need to be which is about seven mil even though it's a six mil bolt i need that little bit of wiggle room um, and these guys are nine mil and i'm about to mount my thread inserts in those uh, once that's done once i've got the thread inserts glued in i'm going to glue and screw them in um, then i'm just going to wrap the back side which will be the inside of the box that you might see just in a piece of black vinyl. And there's what one side looks like, just with black vinyl, and then I just cut the holes out for where it mounts onto the 15 one, and then that's that side, that one, same deal. I'm gonna give them actually just quick spray paint, just so they're just matte black. Um, and then they're completely done. Matte black. So you would have to be like fucking Iron Man to pick that motherfucker up and mount it by yourself. Um, without the help of what I was just doing. So that's a piece of wire, um, like a roll of wire, piece of 12 mil MDF, and that's the perfect height for me to sit the magnet on and then bolt that in. Still got to pick it up though, and actually get it in there and put it down to get that one massive motherfucker in there. Um, so anyway, there's heaps of depth obviously for it to excurt. It's not gonna hit the back or anything. That's my big baffle, um, bolted in. So, bolts into the T-nuts, and there's the inside, hopefully you can see that, um, I'll put night shot on, that's it on the inside, yay by hand, so I have to hand screw in all of these ones, because I tried doing it with the drill before and ripped one of them out. Um, one of the thread inserts I just put in and that, I mean slow on the drill but if you, you can feel it by hand if it catches now the fun part so <laughs> maximum stretch Yeah, I can say that was much easier than that one. Because yeah, I struggled for a bit there trying to do it without that wire and 12 mil. Again, this wasn't actually designed for these. We'll see how it goes. 
worst case, I'm going to rebuild. Um, I'll might, might probably actually rebuild with the, the same C-pillar idea and just rebuild the inside of this box. Um, but we'll see how it goes anyway. So anyway, I'm going to fire it up for the first time. I just measured it, it's sitting at about 0.9 ohm. Well, 1 ohm, so we'll turn it on and see how we go. All right, well, I might put the back on the box so it actually works properly. And this is just battery voltage. And that was about maybe maybe two thirds, not even. Okay. Also, now they're wired at one ohm. Just keep in mind, instead of being wired at half on the crescendo, so we're back to like 5,800 watts instead of about 65. So a little less power, fair bit less cone area. But uh, yeah, they sound pretty good already. And so here's the port now um, with the two sundowns, which, yeah, you can't really see. <laughs> um, you can just see the top of the basket. Took the decimal audio sticker out. Yeah, that looks better. All right. So I got me a little sundown audio sticker to put in the port there. And the swap over is complete. Um, anyway. I haven't got, got the lights on at the moment, but that's that. Um, anyway, well, uh, let's go for some uh, some play footage right now. I got dope for my boy. Um, all right, so do a little bass demo here. Just sitting up in a car park. I'm, I'm on the In all honesty, it's about the same amount of flex that I was getting from the 215s. Um, as I said, the car's pretty solid. There's a lot of deadener in here, so it is flexing about the same. And I, I reckon DB-wise, it maybe one or two D be off. It did a 47 before. It might do a 46 now, maybe a 45, um, which isn't loud um, compared to how it used to meter, but it feels louder. So whatever. Um, but yeah, that's the sundowns in here. Uh, though I will rebuild. So once I get to a decent housing situation, which I still haven't yet, um, I will rebuild. So I'm also gonna build that that, uh, that dash panel because that's pissing me off now. So um, anyway, stay tuned, but the sundowns are in. I got my sticker in there, uh, but they definitely sound better. Um, yeah, so I'm happy for now. <laughs> 